everybody, it's Trip with Sailing and Such here on YouTube, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your very own gear hanger. So the next time you go on your kayaking adventure, or whatever you're doing, you can have this awesome gear hanger that is just so convenient to have. Trust me, you need to make one. I know y'all seen me use it in my videos, and it's one of the pieces of gear that I would not want to go kayaking without. So, let's get to it. There's really only two things that you have to have to make this gear hanger. And that is some zinget line you can find on Amazon, as well as some galvanized wire. This is uh, six gauge or one eighth of an inch. You're gonna need about 30 foot of the zinget line and about 65 or 70 inches of this galvanized wire. The zinget you can find on Amazon and the galvanized wire, I found it at Lowe's, so you can find it at your local big box store or online. Some other things that I like to include in my gear hanger is a carabiner, a two by six inch butainer, as long as a small figure nine from Night Eyes. The first thing I'm gonna start with is making these hooks. I have about 10 on my gear hanger and I find that to be plenty. There's many different ways you can make these hooks by bending the wire, but one of the easiest things and simplest things that I've found is I just took a piece of plywood and I put two screws through it. The screws are close enough together so that the wire just barely fits in here. So I'll take the wire, slide it in, put it up against one screw, and I'll just bend it around to make my loop. Pretty simple. Bend it around and it makes a closed loop. Then I'll just take my hammer and kind of tap it to flatten it out. I've already got one hook sized about the way I like it. It's approximately two and a half inches in this direction and I don't know maybe in an inch in this direction but once you get a size you like you can use it as a pattern so I'll just take it stick it on here over my wire and I can make a pattern and make my tin hooks of similar size bend the hook mark the end and now I know where to cut it off and all my hooks will be about the same size so to go over the whole process I'll bend my eyelet without bumping the camera too much. Flatten it out. If you get a little gap here, you can just take some pliers and squeeze it together. Then I'll take my template on there like so and bend it around. Mark it. Sometimes whenever you snip this wire, it'll leave a sharp burr on the end. So I just like to take a file and I'll file it down a little bit. Now it's nice and smooth and it won't damage any of my gear. Now the next thing we want to do is take our hooks and add a loop to them. So we're going to start by cutting our zinc into about 10 inch pieces. One piece for each hook. I like to light a candle when I'm going to be steering the ends of a lot of pieces of rope. It just makes it so much easier. Now we have to create our loop. I like to use what's called a double fisherman's knot to do that. And there's a lot of good how to tie knot videos online that you can research. So I'm not going to have a definitive guide on how to tie a double fisherman's knot, but it's not too difficult and it's a real handy knot to know. Doesn't take long. So just tie loops in all of your 10 pieces or however many pieces per hook you have. It can be tedious with this, this small rope, but it's doable and it's something good to learn. Look at there. This one's going pretty decently. Get your knots tied. Dress it up. Tighten it up a little bit. You can pull these knots on each other. And it creates a nice... Yeah, clean loop. Oh wait, I forgot one thing. You have to tie the loop through the eyelet. <laughs> Duh. Now once you have all your loops attached to your hooks, I'm going to take another piece of zinget. I cut it about 25 foot and I'm going to tie a bowline in the end of it. And you can Google that too. It's in a knot how-to video. But this is a very, very handy knot. Probably the knot I tie the most, hands down. But tie a quick bowline in there and then attach your carabiner of choice, like so. And now you're ready to string it up. I'm gonna go ahead and string this up the same way I would around a tree. 
just wrap it around it in the carabiner but I'll straighten it up because the next step is easiest with this line is tight now on the other end I'll have a small figure nine which is a very simple but very effective tool for tying a knot and attaching it to something very easy works great with this zing it now the last and final step is to attach our hooks to our line using the Prusik knot and it's a very simple knot you're just feeding your hook through several times I do it three times make three wraps and three wraps and then you kind of dress it up a little bit make it nice and pretty and there you go now you've got your hook on the Prusik knot which is a fantastic knot very easy to tie and you can slide it left and right as you wish but then as soon as you put tension on it or hang a piece of gear on it it will not slide left or right very cool knot well there you have it once you have all your hooks attached you're pretty much done all you need is something to keep it in now i like to keep mine in a butainer this is a two by six inch just really 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 cool little container that's good for all kind of stuff but it works really well for this gear hanger you can see it all just fits in there nicely well thank you all for watching that's pretty much it hope you decide to make your own gear hanger i'm telling you it's very very useful very useful and pretty cheap and simple to make you can find most of this stuff online if you can't find it locally and you can check it out i'll have most of it in my amazon store salingandsuch.com so go over there and check it out hey have fun hope you enjoy using this thing and get ready for some more adventures because there's some more coming up got a real fun adventure planned maybe next week so thank you all for watching and god bless enjoy your gear hanger make one make one for your friend too this one's going to one of my buddies so hey enjoy it thank you all for watching see you later